hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is jenny and you are in Turkey headquarter and today's video is about the incoming queen of Ileife, the, the incoming wife of oni in this video i'm going to tell you guys all you need to know about this incoming queen her relationship with the king and the truth about this matter that's what you're going to see on this video so this is that woman right there the fair lady right there her name is chidema she's from Igbo. she's an Igbo lady and you know she's into oil and gas uh she read petrochemical so i think that's why she's into oil and gas she's an oil executive she's also a bridal designer and in fact she has won so many award in fashion styling and all of that she's also a philanthropist and she's a friend to yalaja and she is the erelu mm. the new erelu she has she got this title um few few weeks ago or even few days ago. will i say weeks or days you know she got this title and a lot of people were present at her party she is a person that actually shared fuel during her party after her coronation so she is the said the same lady that shared fuel that a lot of people are condemning you know since she's into oil and gas you know she she has fuel now so here is when she was you know doing when she was entering during her coronation and a lot of Yorubas has condemned this her dressing here that somebody that is giving this kind of title is not supposed to dress like this there is nothing like modesty from her tummy to down she dressed modest but from up she's showing her properties outside that this kind of title she's not supposed to you know show her has something like that that what is she teaching um you know portraying outside that this title is a very secret title that she's not supposed to dress like this and all of that me too i'm not supporting her dressing like this her her, her dressing is cool i did mean she you know bring that thing up and close her something small but anyway so she is the lady that's being rumored that uh, she is the new incoming queen of Filefe. I'm sorry to disappoint you that this lady right here, she's married. Yes, her name is Chidema. You know, she's married. She's a married woman with a child. You know, I wonder why people are tagging her the new incoming queen. Maybe anybody that is seen close to the king now, any especially female, is tag the new incoming queen. Queen of Ileife. You can see her right here greeting the king. Campion. It was all over social media that oh she's the new incoming queen. Oh, she's coming to replace Ulo. You know me. Some people that love Queen Naomi are doing protests. Some people are calling her name. Some people are calling her this and that. Without them sitting down to think, is this really truth? We need to dig and know more. So this woman is not in any way interested in the throne, and she would she can never would never be the the queen of Ileife because she is married she's just a friend of Yalaja and you know she's into oil and gas we all know that Yalaja is also into you know oil and gas so this woman has done a lot of work a lot of philanthropist work she has gone to some schools give them books make them happy you know it's part of her job you know before they will give you this um this title what matters is your pocket matters a lot your how popular you are what you can bring to the table in the society especially in yoruba land and you know who and who do you know and all of that so this woman right here is a well-known person she's very popular she's wealthy she has money she has class sometimes she <laughs> excuse me i even heard that she has a house in london you know she has houses in lagos and a lot of you know achievement she do her oil and gas even outside nigeria and in nigeria too so you can see that she's a big profile and they said this 
um this um irilu that was given to her you know is based on how popular she is her pocket and all of that so you know people rumoring that she is the new wife of own is it because she dressed like this when they give you that title you start wearing white and white one thing i notice about yoruba culture is whenever they give the, um, any title especially this kind of title uh, you will start wearing white and white and this title is made only for women yes it's made only for women and um, it's, it's a kind of like a chieftaincy, normal chieftaincy title, but you know, it, it requires you to be wearing white and white. So that was why people see her wearing like this with her crown on her head. You know, this is the kind of crown that um, Ashley wore in one of her pictures. So anybody that wears now is automatically the new incoming queen of Ileife. Anyway, so we should just withdraw back like it's getting out of hand does it mean that the king cannot associate again with um females does it mean that nobody like any female that come close to the king is automatically the wife and wow this is rumor of a thing people should just take it easy share so she is not the the wife of the king she is not the incoming queen she is just the eredu she was you know given this title and she is the same lady that shared fuel that you know got a lot of people talking that somebody like this that they gave this title why would she be sharing fuel in an occasion knowing fully well that anybody that mistakenly put on fire there that everybody is going down and she has also come out to apologize that she really did not think it that way that she was so happy that since there is scarcity of fuel she just said okay let her appreciate people that came to you know came to her occasion by giving them fuel yeah as you can see on this picture this is her beautiful daughter so to tell you that she's a married woman she has a baby i think this baby should be around one to one year or two years so you can see that she is not interested in the throne she is not the new yeyelua she is not the incoming queen she is not the new wife of um Oni. you know they said they married her secretly that she is the wife of Oni that was married secretly i keep saying it that there is no way only of if he will marry secretly without even if um, he wants to marry it secretly but he can do it to somebody that he wants to make a wife not somebody that they said he wants to make the yeyelua it's not done like that so the king cannot marry this lady secretly and i don't think the king can even um marry right now right like now 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 because people are still hoping and praying that the king um the king and queen naomi comes back together if you watch their profile pictures the king still have all of um, queen naomi's pictures on his profile and if you go to queen naomi's um instagram page too you will see that she still have all the pictures all the videos that she has with the king and all of that so i think there is still atom of love that is shocking both of them but the thing there is sometimes you love somebody but it's better you guys be apart for you guys mental health sometimes you love somebody but you can't be with the person it's normal that's why sometimes they tell you say love is wicked 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 love is wicked you know we don't really know what is keeping them apart only both of them know but still you can still love someone and you can you will not still be with the person so the essence of me doing this video is to clarify what is going around social media that this young lady right here is the new wife of Oni of Ife. she is not and she will never be you get it if you don't get it forget about it I'm just choking but anyway now that he will know that she is just the Erelu and I don't know whether it's the king is the only of Ife that gave her the title or another king in Lagos because I believe that she's based in Lagos and sometimes she's in London so I believe that either Oni gave her that title or the king in Lagos gave her that title I, don't, I, I could not really place who gave her that title whether it's Honi or another king. If you really know who gave her that title, you can still drop it on the comment section for you know for people like us to know and other people that are interested in knowing 
much about her but honestly this lady is doing well for herself she's doing well for the society from the little i've heard about her they said she has helped a lot of people behind the scene secretly and openly and she's this person that they said she's not uptight that she she's a, a giver so she's a philanthropist big one though they said she don't normally video all her philanthropist work she video some and leave some but at the end of the day people knows that she's giving people that is receiving knows that she's receiving from her you know sometimes it's not everything that you bring to social media sometimes you need 50 items to bring to social media you just bring five or ten to them and people will, be, will just jump in thinking that they have known a lot about you so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope right now you get to know who this woman is who she really is and if you have anything you want to say about this video you can drop it on the comment section maturely without calling anybody names and all of that thank you so much for watching and god bless you